Hello everyone, I'm Susan and this is the Dragoneer. I wanted to do a new walk around video. So um, I just got a new winch for it because my smitty belt's not working. Got to work on it still, get it working. So new rollers, new winch bumper. This is a Tough Stuff 4x4 winch bumper. It's pretty, uh, pretty neat bumper. I love it. And then I'm going to scrunk down here. She had a 4.5 rough country lift on her. Now it's got a 6.5 long arms. Axle still a Dana 30. But now she has 488 gearing. Solid diff cover. Got rough country springs and shocks. There's the part of the long arm. It is the Y length long arm. So I'm going to come back in and show a little bit of the airbrush detail on the front of the Jeep. There's Sparky. And then my hood vents are regular household aluminum vents. They've been on there for about nine years. Dragonier vinyls, my Casey highlights, they've been on there for a long time too. So she got the new bumper, new 35 Mastercraft tires, 6.5 long arms. Actually, we swapped the whole axle out. Um, I'll just kind of meander through the paint job a little bit. The snorkel she's had on it for about five or six years. So the paint job even has like rust and everything in it. I added all this to give it a nice distressed look. Aged my skull line. Um, some of this I used stencils on, some of it I freehanded, and some of it I made my own stencils and, and templates for it. So the rear, there's another the rear end we swapped out and it is a Ford 88 rear end with 488 gearing and 6.5 leaf from rough country so uh, back hatch yes she survived cash for clunkers got a new roof rack new high lift jack a Jeep stock 08 that's not going anywhere Create X colors because that's what I painted her with. It's really good paint, easy to use. And I did put clear coat over it. There's more skulls. And then this one's a little bit dented, but then I added some more damage and everything to it. Um, I'll just pop this hood up. So I took the interior out of the other Jeep. And so she's got full leather interior now. And I also took the whole interior side panels and everything. Because mine was a real light gray and they were really faded out. Excuse the back, I got junk everywhere. But I've got my ammo box. And <laughs> my, so, uh, chains and everything going there. So that's the inside of her from the back. And she has some battle scars. Like I said before, me and her, we've been through everything for the last 10 years and she's earned every one of these battle scars at one of the off-road parks or mudding things or something. So I won't take her battle scars away from her. Matter of fact, I kind of enhanced them a little bit. That one's from Wasita Off-Road Park before I got rock sliders. Um, we had to take the rock sliders off because this plating here won't allow the sliders to go in. They're an older set of sliders, homemade, out of square tubing. And uh, they actually mounted right in here, so they were in the way. But this got some real nice plating underneath here. Uh, I like it. My exhaust stops there right now. <laughs> So, um, it sounds nice, so I'll probably put a muffler on it. 
I just haven't done it yet. I just kicked this door open. Some more leather seating. I had no roof liner. I have it for a while. They just get muddy and then they end up sagging down. And oh, there's the leather interior and door panels, dashboard, and everything. I've got to remount the CB because it used to be on the old council. There is one piece of the old still left right here. Yeah, can't see it because oh, of lighting. So I have to change him out yet. There we go. Now you can see how nasty he looked. And, oh yeah, this piece right here. So I haven't changed them out yet. Um, no carpet. Just mats on the floorboard. And I don't, my doors come off, so I, I never have these corner panels in. Whoops, sorry, I got my fingers in front of there. I never have one of the fuse boxes because I need to reach and pull the plugs out so I can pull the doors off. So... And more stuff on the diamond plate, more body damage looking. This is not real rust, not real damage. This is real, but I mean, I added like all this distressed, uh, rusting out look to it. It's uh, all airbrushed in. I got to do a little cleanup on my trim yet, but there's a pile of skulls. And my CB antenna, high lift jack, new roof rack. So she's got a whole lot of new stuff. And uh, ready to hit the trails or wherever we end up going. And hopefully we get on some trails soon. And when I started the paint job though, I started with just this piece. And I drug it in the house and airbrushed it. Oh yeah, and we changed this back down to a Jeep grill now, and the we had a homemade grill in there. So, um, hood pins. So that's the upgrades to the Dragon Ear. Let me back off a little bit so you could see her a little better as a whole. I'm just going to do a, a quick walk around here like this and then there you go <laughs> she's sitting on a hill there there you go the dragon ear thanks for joining bye